greetings. Today I want to remind you of the power that you have within yourself. It's simple. The choices that we all make give life to the ideas that we want to express. Even to the ideas that we don't want to express. Choosing to give it attention gives life to it. So as we maneuver this reality, it's very easy, if not commonplace, for us to get lost in the world. But what if we got it all wrong? What if being in this reality is not about fully integrating and feel that, feeling that we are part of the world as we know it? Whether it be for notoriety, whether it be for uh, legacy, what have you. What if we got it backwards? What if the point in coming into this reality and integrating in this reality is so we can learn how to remove ourselves from it, to separate ourselves from it, to know that we are the ones who create the reality that we see from our perspective? What if that's all this is about? I don't have the answers. But sometimes, Sometimes things are revealed to you that make a lot more sense than what we can become accustomed to. Now, everyone has their own idea, their own perspective, and their own choices to make. I'm not here to tell you what to do, what to think, how you should think, or vilify you for thinking differently than me. Nah. That show business. I can only remind you that you have an essence about you that the world's not going to remind you of. Because to do so would take away the power that you have, aware or, un or unaware, that you have given to them. So if they acknowledge that power in you, they might wake you up. It's okay. We can look at it as a, a evil deed when someone doesn't tell us about our power, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Give them grace. You don't even have to worry about judging them. I mean, it's, it's part of this dynamic and this reality that we're in, so it's okay if you do, but don't get hung up on that. Operate from your choosing, your life, and be proud of the expressions that you make along your journey. Because in those beautiful expressions of thoughts and ideas, you can inspire somebody else. You can impress somebody else. And that's a, that's a beautiful full circle outcome. To nourish oneself and in turn to nourish somebody else. But take a moment, look at your journey and be honest with yourself. Are you focused on fitting in or are you focused on standing out? I'm not saying that either one is better. I'm simply reminding you that you are not designed to simply come into this reality and be as everyone else. You are your own individual creator. Nobody or no thing can take that away from you. Now that's regardless of whatever your focus or aim is in life. There will be others that do not view you in the best light. Okay, that's their choice. There will be some that praise you for way more than you ever, ever feel accountable for. That's okay. Don't get lost in it. Remind yourself of who you truly are. More importantly, as best as you can, demonstrate how life can be by living in your power, by knowing the power of your choices. 
remind others that they too have that power, that they can maneuver this reality however they see fit. I believe that one of the things that get us caught up on this journey is knowing what works for us, but allowing the outside world to convince us otherwise. Stay true to you. Now, in doing so, it takes an element of bravery. It takes courage. Because more often than not, you will not be celebrated for being who you are by the masses. You will be vilified. That's okay. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So you might as well have the damning that comes with the choices that you made and that you're proud of. The world is not out to get you. The world is simply designed to keep us in the belief that we are not more than what we truly are. That's okay. You don't have to go out and be the next conqueror that's going to change everything. You don't have to go out and be the next advocate that's going to change everything. No. Nah. Just live your life with an open heart and an open mind. Be discerning. But keep both parts of the of parts of you open because in simply doing so, you not only allow yourself grace and protection from judgment and criticism, but you allow you also allow others to see a different a different way of being. By simply trusting in who you are and the power that you operate from. Don't get caught up in those that oppose you. Those that uh, offer seeming resistance. Side. Because everybody has their own beliefs. And at times, those beliefs will clash. It's not your responsibility to change each individual that clashes with you. It's not your responsibility to go out in the world and be understood by the masses. Nah. Those to hear will hear. Those to see will see. It is what it is. Because just as you maneuver your life in the way that you do, others have made their own choices. They've had their own expectations. They have their own expressions and impressions that they are working with. And divinely so, it's their right. So if you and another are not on the same accord, it's okay to part ways lovingly. Now, they may not part ways love for me, but that's fine. For yourself, understand that they're operating well within their power, well within their right of being, well within their right of choice, and maneuver accordingly. But it's not all good and bad when we look at this life. It's perspective. That's it. But I want to remind you again to not get lost in the world. Thinking that that's the solution. If you're going to get lost anywhere, get lost in yourself. You don't have to understand every aspect of your journey or your life up to this point. But sometimes we must take a moment to unpack what we believe, what we think. We must pay attention to our choices and the outcomes that we've yielded from those choices. We must be open to the idea that the things that we do think come into fruition. No matter how minor or major. And sometimes just having quiet time to sit with, our, sit with the thoughts that enter into our brain we could begin to prune. We could begin to counteract or not accept those thoughts that we do not want to entertain, that we do not want to express. And so, not always an easy task. Sometimes it is, not always. But trust in who you are. Trust in that guy, that I amness within you. 
because only through that does everything live. Until next time, be blessed.